hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm coming on here with another wig review and this wig review is going to be a little different um usually on my channel i review um synthetic wigs um but today your girl got a human hair wig <laughs> and i purchased this wig from wildafrican.com so this is the packaging that um my wig came in i actually ordered this wig about a month and a half ago or maybe like a month ago um but i've just been holding on to it because i've been a really i've been a little lazy to get this review out but i'm finally coming on here now and the reason why i'm actually doing the review today is because i'm tired of this wig that i'm wearing right now i want to put on um my new wig so this is how the box comes and while African is well known on YouTube, so some of you may already know about Wild African. So what I do love is this packaging that it comes in. It comes in this cute light pink bag. And in the box, I did get a stocking cap. I'm sorry, guys. This is actually the wrong... Um, this is the wrong wig that I'm showing you because I did order two wigs, but it's going to be in a separate review. This is the one that I wanted to review today. So, oh, they both came with, um, I didn't even notice that. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is how it comes packaged. And I really, really love this um, bag that it comes in. It's really, really, it's going to be really good for storing my wig when I'm not wearing it. So it did come inside of this plastic bag like this and on the front it just says the style name, the color and the length. So I did already um, you know, take it out and examine it and look at it but I just wanted to show you guys how it comes. Um, so you get the net in like most wigs come and this is a 360 lace wig a 360 lace wig yes 360 lace wig and it's straight hair um it also does come pre-plucked so there goes that hairline is you know a little customized for you already and it is actually a little natural. You get some baby hairs in the front, which I might, um, I might, I may or may not use them. I'm not really too crazy about baby hairs. But if I do use them, I will um, just cut them a little bit. So with the 360 lace wig, you get about, I say, four inches of parting space. So you get about that much part in space. And look at that part, you guys. That part looks so, so good. I'm not going to bleach my knots because I ordered something that's supposed to... Um, it's supposed to give you the look like your knots are bleached. So I'm not going to bleach my knots because I don't got time for that. I'm not trying to mess up this wig. Um, I did pay about... $290 if I'm not mistaken it may be a little less but I did use a 20% off coupon code and it brought it down to like around $290 so that was really really good um so yes this is um virgin Brazilian hair and it is so 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 soft I'm running my fingers straight through. I'm not getting any tangling. I'm not getting any shedding or anything like that. 
the color is natural I'm not sure if I'm going to um dye it because I love jet black hair but I may, I may just keep it this color because I really don't want to mess up this wig y'all like this is this is um my second human hair wig this one was my first human hair with the wig that I ever owned and this one would be my second so I'm not really trying to you know mess with it like that but um okay so going on to the cap construction you do get you do get um four, three combs you get two on each side in the front and you get one in the back and you also do get your adjustable strap so that you can make it as tight as you want um this is how the cap looks inside it's not really that stretchy but that's okay so I am going to take this wig off and I'm gonna try this one on with the lace on just so you guys can see um no I'm gonna cut the lace off or should I just no I'm, I'll, I'll try it on with the lace on And please excuse me if I am speeding through this video. <laughs> I'm kind of on a um, tight schedule right now. Okay, so this is how it will look with the lace on. Of course, I can pull it up some, but... I'm really not trying to fuck up my makeup. But yeah. As you can see guys. This hairline is very very natural. Very very natural hairline. If I didn't already mention that this unit is 22 inches. So it falls on me. Right here. That's where it falls on me. This hair is so flowy. So as you can see, that's how it looks with the lace on. And you can customize it however you want. And being that it's a 360 wig, the lace goes all the way around to the back so that you can put it up into a ponytail and updos and things like that. But I personally, I don't really put my hair up into ponytails that much. But I did want to, um, I'm sorry if I keep looking over here, this is my viewfinder. But I did want to... I did want to um, get the 360 cap. I don't know why, but I just, I prefer a 360 cap. There's no real reason why I just, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know why I chose a 360 cap because I really don't care to um, put my hair into um, ponytails and things like that. But I'm just going to cut off the lace because I'm dying to wear this wig, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I am beast in the way this wig. It took me a whole month to do this review. And now that I'm doing it, I can finally wear my wig. I'm so happy. So I'm not sure if... I want to leave a, I might just leave a little lace in the front. I didn't, um, I could have customized it a little bit more. But honestly, you guys, I'm not really into that. I 
I mean, it does look a lot more natural when you customize your hairline. But I feel like it came it came pretty decent already. I don't think I really need to um I don't think I need to customize it any more than it already came. I had ordered this thing called Wig Knots Healer from um, MyFirstWig.com. And it's, um, it's a good alternative for people that doesn't like to bleach their knots. I don't know if you noticed the wig that I had on, the first wig that I had on. When my knot, um, my part looks a little defined, I had put that on it, or oh, whatever. <sighs> Y'all, it's been so long since I've put out any video, so I'm trying to get back into the YouTube world. Um. And I'm trying to come up with a schedule because I have a list, a list. When I say a list, the list goes on of the amount of beauty, beauty videos that I have. And the reason why I decided to do a channel anyway is because... The reason why I decided to do a channel anyway is because... Um, I don't know, I'm just really into like skincare and makeup and wigs and you know like all things beauty related and you know I just figure why not share what I love, you know? And I'm I'm always on YouTube all day long like I don't watch TV for anything. I'm always watching YouTube. Always on YouTube. And it's like, you want to sit there and watch other people get to that bag? Or you going, you know, you going to get to yours. What you going to do? And I'm not even going to lie. Like this winter, I've been really, really lazy. Only because, you know, it's winter and it's cold and, you know, you want to stay home, cuddle up with your boo and things like that. When you come home from work, you don't really want to um, pick up a camera. Well, at least I don't. But anyway, enough rambling. I finally got the lace off. And that's what I got. So, I'm not going to mess with that um, wig not tailor thing just yet. Only because I want to figure out what I'm going to do with this wig. But then again, I might have to mess with it because this hair one... This um lace ain't my complexion. <laughs> Alright, so I think the color of the lace I got was light brown. And it's a little too light. Alright guys. Um I'm gonna fix this wig up a little bit and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, guys, so this is how this unit is looking on my head right now. I didn't um, really lay it down too much. Um, I think I'm going to do a separate video on how I um, lay it down because I do, being that this is my first, being that this is my first, um, like, lace front, 360 lace front whatever you want to call it I'm not really um I'm having a bit of a trouble I'm having a little bit of trouble so I have to go and buy some got to be glue so that I can just 
you know get these sides down because as you can see it is lifting a little bit um and on this side is you know not secured down to my head i thought i was going to be able to wear it without doing that i may have to I may have to sew the elastic band that they this actually came with the wig. I may have to sew this down, or if that doesn't work, I will have to um, get me some got to be glued because if not, it's just the wig is just gonna be sliding back. Um, as far as the cap, the cap does fit. It does fit really, really good. But like you see this, like the wig should be like right here. It should be here. And it, it just keeps sliding back. So yeah, it does come with a lot, a lot of baby hair, like I said. And I am I am actually digging it a lot. Like I really am feeling it. The only thing I do need to um I wasn't really prepared to be using no got to be glued and things like that. So I have to give me some got to be glue because I'm not I'm not using any type of um, adhesive or anything like that. I'd rather just use a gossipy glue, being that I'm a first time frontal wearer or whatever. But um, I really do love the hairline. I could go in and customize it a little bit more, but I think it's fine. Let me know what y'all think. I think it's I think it's fine. But, um, yeah, I do need to play around a little bit more with it because it's not, it's not perfect and I need it to be perfect. So, anyway, um, yeah, that was my show and tell. I did want to wait and show you how it came packaged because I really I really liked how it came packaged. Also another thing, um shipping was really really fast actually. Um I got it a day before I was supposed to. It came less than a week. I would say maybe like 3 to 4 days. I did receive it in like 3 to 4 days. And um yeah, it was free shipping and it was really really fast. Um so, I don't really know anything else to say about this wig other than I love it. I love the the texture. If I didn't mention it is Brazilian hair. The density it is 180 density. I forgot to mention that, sorry. It is 180 density. So this is all the hair towards the front. And I'll show you how it looks to the back. Mm -hmm. And I apologize if this video is all over the place. Like I said, it's been maybe like seven months since I've recorded a video. So I kind of got to get back in there if you understand what I'm saying. But um, Okay guys, so I did get it to lay a lot better than, um, a lot better than for the time. So all I did was just put it onto my canvas head and I sprayed some mousse. And then I just combed it down. So for the most part, it is laying down pretty nicely. And that's just a close-up of the part in space. I may go in and squeeze it a little bit more, just a little, little tiny bit more. And I'm going to put on my um, wig knot tailor. But I kind of don't want to do that yet. Um, I'm gonna wait a while, and I'll I'm gonna make a separate a separate video of 
how I um, style it with my head and things like that. But for right now, this is what the part looks like. I think it looks it looks pretty decent. It doesn't look too bad. Um, um, overall, guys, I'm really, really, really loving this hair. Um, and I know I'm going to love it even more once I secure it with the, um, got to be glue, but yeah. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.